Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev were stepping back into the octagon to settle the score for the lightweight championship. The first time they squared off, Makachev dominated Oliveira, no doubt about it. But Oliveira hasn't backed down since then. Makachev, who has been steamrolling through his opponents with 10 consecutive wins, has already called out the Bronx for a rematch by tweeting, Congrats Charles, but still there's level in this game. It's an all-out war for the top spot, but the question is, will Oliveira get sweet revenge and cement himself as the ultimate lightweight champion? Or will Makachev remind everyone why he is the undeniable force in the division? Let's deep dive into this. The highly anticipated rematch between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev will be in Abu Dhabi for the UFC lightweight championship. Oliveira, coming off a killer first round TKO win against Benil Daryush, holds the top spot in the official lightweight rankings. On the other side, we have Makhachev, with an incredible record of 22-1 and a stunning 10-fight winning streak. This rematch is pure excitement, my friends. Both fighters have something to prove. Islam wants to solidify himself as the undisputed lightweight champ, while Oliveira is out for sweet redemption after losing his title to Makhachev in their first go. So what can we expect in this nail-biting clash? Here's the scoop. Can Oliveira bounce back and snatch that lightweight title from Makachev's cross with his slick submission skills? I mean, the guy's won 11 fights in a row and he is known for his submission game. Or will Makachev be able to defend his title against Oliveira's relentless pressure? He's got made skills in wrestling and striking, and his takedown defense is no joke. But hold on, because Oliveira can fake a punch too, can he catch Makachev off guard with a knockout blow? The man has some serious power, with 8 out of his last wins coming by knockout or TKO. Let's take a quick look back at their first showdown. Makashev dominated every second of that fight, landing solid shots, avoiding Oliveira's submission attempts and even scoring an early takedown. Oliveira came back swinging in the second round, but Makachev held his ground and eventually forced him to tap out with the arm triangle choke. And just like that, we had ourselves a new champ. Now, Oliveira's comeback fight against Darius was epic. Charles Oliveira delivered an explosive performance at UFC 289, securing a first-round TKO victory over Benil Darius. Oliveira showcased his striking skill with a head kick that rocked Darius, leading to a flurry of powerful punches that sealed the deal. This win solidified Oliveira's position as the top lightweight contender, setting the stage for a potential rematch with reigning champion Islam Makashev. While Oliveira's coach and Darius believe he will face challenges against Makachev, the Brazilian fighter is determined to neutralize his opponent's striking in takedowns. Makachev got his game plan all set, looking to use his striking skills to keep Oliveira at bay and avoid those takedowns. But watch out because Oliveira's grappling is on another level and he's ready to shut down Makachev's offenses. Will it be Oliveira time to shine or will Makachev continue his dream of dominance? If you're excited as we are for this APEC rematch, make sure to leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on the fight. And don't forget, if you are craving more UFC excitement, make sure to subscribe to our channel UFC Fanatic, where we will keep you in loop with the all latest news, jaw-dropping highlights and thrilling fight breakdowns.